we're now going to use what we learned with the GCF and talk about how we can factor a group of things by doing what we call factor by grouping. And so factoring by grouping works like the following. Suppose we have 5y minus 5z plus ay minus az. And so our first step is to find a GCF. But the only thing that goes into 5y minus 5z, positive ay, and minus az is 1. So I don't have a GCF that's useful. I can't use a 1 to make this smaller. But what I can do is use what we call grouping, where we're going to break the first piece and the second piece off from each other. We're just going to look at each piece separately. So in our first piece, we have a 5 in common, and that leaves behind a y minus z. And the second piece, we have an a in common, which be leaves behind a y minus z. And if we look carefully, we'll notice that both of these have a y minus z in common. So we can pull out a y minus z, and that leaves behind a 5 plus a. And thus we have factored this down to its smaller factored form pieces. And if we were to check our answer, y times 5 is 5y, y times a is ay, minus z times 5 is minus 5z, and minus z times a is minus az. And just by swapping the middle two terms, we're back to where we started. So that's the idea behind factoring by grouping, is to break it into half and see if we can make the individual pieces smaller. So let's look at another example. x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 12. And again, the idea here is we want to break it in half. And so our first one we can pull an x squared out of, which is going to leave an x plus 4. And of our second two, we can pull a 3 out, which leaves an x plus 4. This then gives us an x plus 4 in common. So we'll pull out the x plus 4, and that leaves behind an x squared plus 3. And we're back to our answer. And again, we can always check it by boiling it out. x times x squared is x cubed. x times 3 is 3x. 4 times x squared is 4x squared, and 4 times 3 is 12. And if we just write this in descending order, we notice we are back to our original. I want to show one final example, just because this one has a little bit of a sign issue to be careful about. So let's say we have 6x squared plus 15x minus 8x minus 20. And now we are starting with four terms, and we're going to leave it as four terms so that we can use our factoring by grouping. Notice this time I'm including the negative with the 8, and to remind myself that I'm not multiplying these, I'm going to throw a giant plus in the middle. So when we look at 6x squared and 15x, we see a 3x, which leaves behind 2x plus 5. And when we look at minus 8x minus 20, we need to pull out a negative 4, which will leave behind 2x plus 5, because a negative divided by negative becomes positive. This then just gives us our repeated piece, the 2x plus 5. And the piece that's left behind is 3x minus 4. We go ahead and check our answer. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x. 5 times 3x is plus 15x. And 5 times minus 4 is minus 20. And again, notice we're back to our original once we switch the middle two.